Okay, what's up YouTube? This is J-Man Time, and today I want to welcome you to the weapons that could have changed the world. This video will be on the Experimental Assault Rifle, the Tipple Tourney Model 1921. The Tipple Tourney Model 1921 was an experimental Italian assault rifle. This weapon was chambered for an experimental cartridge, the 7.35 by 32 millimeter Tourney and was fed by either a 15 to 20 round magazine and had a rate of fire of between 450 and 500 rounds per minute. Now if you look at this weapon, you'll notice that it is very similar to the French Ribe Rose assault rifle from 1918. That weapon was the first, uh, one of the first assault rifles um, to use an actual intermediate cartridge, just like this weapon. The 7.35 by 32 millimeter tourney is pretty much the first Italian intermediate cartridge. Now, many of you may notice that this weapon is very similar to the French Red Bay Rose M1918 machine carbine or machine and carabiner. This weapon was pretty much the Italian equivalent of that gun. Both weapons were chambered for early experimental cartridge cartridges. The Ribe Rose was chambered for the 8 by 32 millimeter or 8 by 35 millimeter Ribe Rose experimental cartridge, and was also fed by a 20 to 30 round magazine, the 25 round magazine. This typical Turney's 7.35 by 32 millimeter Turney is pretty much the first Italian intermediate cartridge. Now, there was a second Tipple Turney rifle designed in the same year in 1921, except this Tipple Turney rifle was a semi-automatic rifle chambered for an experimental 7.65 millimeter cartridge. The only difference between these two weapons is really the magazine. Uh, this is why I kind of believe this to be a semi-automatic rifle, but at the same time, I do believe that this uh, second version of the gun could be a prerequisite or a it could be the original prototype or the original prototype of the Tipple Attorney, which could have later been redesigned as either a select fire rifle or it could be a semi-automatic rifle as one firearms uh, researcher pointed out. So what do you all think of these weapons? Do you think these would have changed Italy's um, perspectives on the Second World War if they had been adopted in the 1920s and 30s? Or do you think both the typical attorney rifles, the semi-automatic rifle, and the potential fully automatic version, they would have, they would not have, um, you know, they would not have added much to the uh, the military capabilities of the Italian army during the Second World War? So tell me in the comments section below, and until next time, this was J-Man Time, signing off. Now, some sources state that the Tipple Attorney M1921 is not actually an assault rifle, but a semi-automatic rifle. But since I can't find many sources on this, I'm just going to go with it being an assault rifle since it appears in many history books and blogs related to early assault rifles, mostly because of its intermediate cartridge and for the fact that many small arms historians do believe that this was a select fire weapon very similar to the aforementioned Beretta submachine guns and the OBP submachine guns of the First World War which were still in service in the 1920s, 30s, and 40s. So, if you think this is a, if you believe this is an assault rifle, please tell me in the comment section, but if you believe this is a semi-automatic rifle, please tell me in the comment section also. So, yeah. Now, keep in mind this weapon was pretty advanced for its time. This typical attorney rifle was pretty much the most advanced uh, assault weapon in the Italian army at the time, with the exception of early submachine guns like the Beretta M1918 and the Beretta and the um, OVP model 1916-1918 submachine guns. But for some reason, the Italians decided that this weapon wasn't 
as good as they imagined it being. I don't know. To me, this weapon was exactly what the Italians needed at the time. Now, just imagine what would have happened if this weapon had been mass produced as the standard um, assault weapon of the Italian army in the 1920s and 30s. Just imagine what would happen if this typical attorney prototype assault rifle had become the standard issued assault weapon in the Italian army during the Second World War. Now, unfortunately, that didn't happen, but if it did, this weapon would have been a game changer on the battlefield, especially during the Sicily campaign, where most Italian soldiers in 1943 were still armed with old Carcano rifles dating back to the 1890s, with a few thousand Italian troops armed with submachine guns and crappy light machine guns like the Brita Model 30. So yeah... What do you think of this weapon? I think it's one of those weapons that just was so advanced that the Italians just didn't know what to do with it. Same with the French when it came to the Ribé Rose, you know. So, whatever, what do you think of this weapon? Please tell me in the comment section below. And until next time, this was J-Man Time, signing off.